exit polls. Now, this was just a fascinating election where I think apart from Dainik Bhaskar, who was kind of close to BJP ka numbers, but Congress ka wobun ka bhi thik tha, they got it massively wrong. And there was a lot of smugness, at least before elections, uh, before the results that we are absolutely right. There was a near, um, you know, certainty ki ye exit poll ne exact poll hai. Uh, reporters who'd been on the ground had started completely, you know, editors who, you know, they have reporters in their own organizations who've gone out and recorded discontent about unemployment, whatever, were suddenly setting all that aside and going in this exit poll wala, uh, char so far wala, you know, sentiment. Just what went wrong according to you with this exit poll business? Very difficult for me to explain this because I, I have not seen the methodologies of all the exit poll. Hmm. It is like a patient, you are a doctor, a patient goes for his or her treatment to you. Hmm. And I'm also a doctor and somebody is asking me, so what is the problem with that patient? I haven't seen the doc that patient. How do I tell you what is the problem with the patient? Hmm. But generally, if you tell me, if somebody tells me, you know, about some features, I would be able to make a good guess or sometime a bad guess that what may be the problem with that patient? Why he is not sleeping? Why he is unable to sleep whole night? So I might, I might make some good guess. Hmm. So some good guess about why exit polls have failed so miserably. Uh, one, most of the exit polls are in a hurry to, the, the race is not about getting it right, the race is about getting it first on the TV channel. Hmm. So the last year poll is on the 1st of June and you come out with the numbers by 6.30, 7, 7.30 on ah, the 1st of in June. In fact, it's not uh, By the time in many constituencies, the voting is also taking place and I'm sure all those people who have put out the number on the 1st of June at 6.30, 7 o'clock, 7.30 would have winded up their uh, data collection exercise by this time, 2 o'clock, hmm. 3 o'clock. If you look at BJP's performance in the six, seven phases of poll, and this is the election commission data, this is not an exit poll. Hmm. Look at the performance of BJP in the last 57 constituencies, which went to poll in the seventh phase. Hmm. Miserable performance. Yeah. BJP exactly. has got only 20% vote in those 57 constituencies which went to poll in the last phase. So if you maybe if you look at, wait and, if you, second ko aata, and, if you, and if you look at BJP's overall vote share, it's 37%. Ah. It is also true that the last phase of poll, the constituencies which went to polls on the last phase was slightly weaker for BJP. Hmm. And when I say slightly weaker, I'm comparing it with the performance of BJP in 2019 election in those 57 constituencies, but not as weak as the poor performance of BJP in the last phase. Hmm. So I'm not saying that if they stop, then all the exit polls will be right. It doesn't happen. But maybe some correction would have taken place. So on the continuing on the exit poll thing, now there's a lot of clamor around it. Ki the opposition wants a JPC probe. You know, one of the big pollsters who got it completely wrong, Access My India, Pradeep Gupta, he was crying, you know, on air. Is this vengeance now suddenly after enjoying the whole tamasha? <laughs> ab sab, everyone wants blood. So, do you think exit polls should be banned? Should we just stop talking about it? Do you think there should be some repercussions? Because apparently now the thing is that it changed the market. People may have lost money. There's now questions about, you know, was it a manipulation? What do you think? I have no idea whether there was a manipulation or not. Hmm. But yes, we all know that exit poll estimates got horribly wrong. Hmm. I'm not in favor of banning the exit poll totally. That doesn't serve the purpose. But I am completely in favor of laying down guidelines for such polls. Hmm. There has to be some guidelines. At the moment, there is no guidelines. There is no rule. You can say whatever you want. Hmm. You can actually do your pre-poll for 2029 right away. Hmm. And you can say in 2029, X party is going to win how many seats <laughs> without doing anything. No guidelines, no restrictions, nothing. So I am all for laying down strict guidelines for the polls. Hmm. If you do a poll, what all you need to follow. If you release a poll, whether it is an exit poll or a pre-poll survey, hmm. what are the mandatory things you have to put out in public domain? Hmm. That will make it more, it will, that will make exit poll and pre-poll exercise a more meaningful rather than just throwing out a number. So this throwing out a number is, should absolutely be, I'm not saying banned, but make it mandatory. You have to put out these details and the data should be open for any scrutiny if you want. 